coming to the result and discussion section of this experiment so basically we have to calculate here the rf value of the amino acid and we have to compare this with the standard one so what is rf value basically rf value is retention factor it is a ratio of distance traveled by the solute front and distance traveled by the solvent front so it is, as it is a ratio it does not have any unit always remember that so <coughs> let us see the plate once in this plate while explaining the process already we have mentioned so after preparing the plate we have to measure at least 1.5 to 2 cm from the bottom and that one will be the application point so from the application point when the chromatogram develops how much distance is traveled by the solvent this is known as the solvent front let us imagine that solvent front is 10 cm from the application point solvent run 10 cm so after running we have to dry the plate and we have to spray with ninhydrin reagent for this experiment so after spraying ninhydrin reagent we have to heat the plate once again and we will observe few violet spot on the plate at both standard and test sample now we have to compare the same way in the same way where the blue color develops or violet color develops in between the plate in between uh, the plate and we have to measure starting from the application point to the point where it has developed this is known as the solute front so let us imagine the solute front is 4 cm so the solvent front is 10 cm so 4 divided by 10 so it is 0.40 so the 0 0.40 is the RF value of your uh, reference or standard compound. So in the similar way, you have to calculate the RF value of your test compound present in the mixture. <coughs> Here I wish to mention one thing. RF value is not constant. Rather, it depends on the environment and uh, the atmosphere atmospheric condition of the experiment where it has been performed <coughs> uh, it depends on uh, the various factors like uh, the uh, choice of solvent then whether the uh, solvent system chamber has been saturated properly or not and so many other factors so overall uh, based on these uh, condition in general in our sample as we have taken valine so the valine RF value is found to be approximately 0 0.45 to 0 0.50 now we have to report <coughs> the uh, the um, experiment so the report should be written like this the rf value of tlc of valine present in the test compound was found to be how much now in brief uh, let us uh, rewind that experiment so we have prepared the tlc plate and over a glass plate and this plate we have activated inside the hot air oven at 105 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes then we have taken out the plate bring to the room temperature 
and we have measured approximately 2 cm from the base. This is known as the application point and from 2 cm again we have measured 10 cm and this one uh, we have kept for the solvent uh, phase, solvent front. Uh, so we have applied both standard and the test sample and after drying we have kept into the um, solvent system chamber and when it reach the solvent when it reach to the 10 cm we have taken out the plate and we have dried again inside the hot air oven so after that then we have uh, after drying the plate we have sprayed with ninhydrin reagent and we have heated once again so in the plate we observed uh, uh, violet color spores uh, then uh, with the uh, these spots, uh, the solvent front and both solute front, we have measured and based on the distance traveled by both the front, we have calculated the RF value and this RF value we have reported. So this is overall uh, a brief uh, explanation about the experiment of TLC of amino acid.